Hi everyone, this is Lynette coming to you again with another tutorial. On today, I'm going to pretty much do a look and learn. I'm going to come in and out giving you um, information about this haircut that I'm doing today. This is a pixie cut. It's really um, advanced. So, But if you do look and learn, you will be able to catch on to this haircut. So let's just begin. Okay, so what you trying to get done today? I'm trying to get the, the I'm trying to get the bang. I want it cut a little bit above my eyebrows, but hitting like right at my eyebrows. It's a color. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right here on this side of your hair, right here, mm -hmm. it's already kind of short. Do you want it that length, or do you want to go up just a little bit more? Mm. Up just a little bit more, just, just like more. really like thin right there on top of the lid. Not even there, but right here. On top of the eyebrow. Right. And then in the back section, you want to go, I see, you know, your sides are already kind of tapered down. Yeah. You just want to bring everything even. I want to bring it all even. And just and keep bang. your bang. And I want the bang. And okay. All. Yeah, I want that to spike forward. And the color you're talking about doing, you want to do like just something. You want me to surprise you? I or want a full out surprise with me. Something cute though? Fine. Something not cute. cute. <laughs> oh, something fine. Something Girl, fine. I ain't never heard that. Yes, baby. Something fine. It's fine. So when the last time you had a relaxer? Two weeks ago when two I came Two weeks ago? To okay. And then two weeks later, you're going to need to do a protein treatment just to strengthen your hair up. Also, okay. you're going to have to make sure that you use the proper shampoos and conditioners not to fade your color because okay. some shampoos have sulfate in it and it will ruin your hair color. Okay. So if you're investing all this money on today, girl, you <laughs> want to make sure you take care of your color. Okay, so on this section of the haircut, this is where you're doing vertical lines. Also, I'm holding the hair at a 90 degree elevation. I'm pulling the hair straight out and I'm holding it out at a 90 degree elevation, cutting the hair, starting a guide, and I'm also using a travel guideline. Travel guideline is basically the guideline moves as the haircut progress. So at each time you take a section and then you add the hair to the next line, the the next section of the hair I'm sorry you guys then you're just basically doing a travel guideline and also I just want you to know that this is going to be a three-part video um, we're going to do the color we're going to do the cut so and I didn't want to make this video extremely long so um, just look out for three more videos to this one cut As you can see, that's just 90 degree elevation is the, 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 the degree that you pull the hair out. That's the cut that you're doing. Pulling the hair out. Using a travel guideline. And you're cutting it at a 90 degree elevation. At the top section, we went in with a U parting. So the top of her hair is sectioned off into a U parting. Now we're going to do scissor over comb. It's basically when you hold the hair down and you place the comb and cut the hair with the tip of the scissors.
make sure that when you are cutting the hair you keep the comb moving and make sure you bevel your comb basically holding the bottom section of the comb more closer to the hair and bringing the top section of the comb outward over here we're just basically blending the cut with the clippers um, I have a number six clipper guard on to the clippers and I'm basically blending Okay, so when you over direct the hair basically you pulling the the hair from its natural fall and basically what it does is it just create more lint when you move the hair back forward so I'm section sectioning the hair to the back of her head and then when I cut the hair I'm over directing it to the back and this will create more lint when I move the hair back forward Right here I'm blending the haircut and I'm basically holding the hair at a 90 degree elevation and I'm just cutting the hair all the way throughout. Right here I'm doing diagonal back and this helps to blend your hair cut. And just so you guys know, I am transitioning from Lynette Cuts to Enhanced by Lynette. Um, the reason why I did that is because I have a lot of things that I am doing in the future. And so I wanted to not just use Lynette Cuts because that just talks about me. But I want to do a lot of different things to help others. So Enhanced Hair Care is going to pretty much cover everything. So you see Lynette Cuts, this used to be my old logo, but now... We're moving on to Enhanced by Lynette or Enhanced Hair Care. And I'm still doing diagonal back, blending the haircut. So whatever I do on one side, I do it on the other side just to blend the haircut. So the point cutting is coming up next. And she feeling this haircut. Oh, she feeling it. <laughs> Just removing a little weight, adding some texture.
And when we did our consultation earlier, she was sure to tell me where she wanted her bang to start and stop. So I, got, I will see you guys next time and look forward to the color next. Thank you all so much for watching and have a achievable day. See you guys next time. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Next video up will be the full color technique on this particular pixie cut.